this is what I have prepared for you today. Hi everyone! Today I thought that we would do something fun. We would be making a Beijing uh, dessert. So it's like a street food. It's uh, a kind of traditional, um, and they're called uh, they're called donkey rolls. Obviously not made from donkey. The reason that they're called donkey rolls is because um, these uh, these rolls they're sprinkled with um, roasted soybean powder afterwards, and kind of like the color of the roasted soybean powder being like a little bit brown um, makes these guys look kind of like a donkey. And for those of you that like mochi already, be it the ones that are filled with ice cream or the ones that are filled with red bean, you and, and you like kind of that like soft glutinous rice texture, this is another way of of presenting that. So it's 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 very reminiscent of like a Swiss roll. So uh, the in-between layers are going to be a red bean paste, as yummy yummy. Um, and then you have, you know, all of the other layers, steamed um, steamed rice is really really good I have a lovely tip for you on how to get your cuts super clean um, during the recipe so I hope you all um, enjoy this one So first up, we're going to prepare the roasted nutty soybean powder that goes on the outside. And I used to just roast soybeans in their dry state, and I actually find that this way is a lot better. So um, you want to uh, soak them overnight, or at least for a few hours until the beans plump up. And then I'm going to stick them into an oven. Actually, not, eh, not too high, like 160 degree air fryer. Um, Celsius and I'm just going to cook it for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's nice and toasty and crunchy like this and then we just grind them up uh, I stick them in the freezer to store if you have any extra and it's lovely to put on things like ice cream or your oatmeal in the morning um, or if you're you know allergic to nuts it's really nice to add that flavor in of that into my Vitamix mixer and grind it up for you all? Hmm. We'll never know. Um, so you can go ahead, store that in the freezer. We're gonna do the rice, um, kind of like the rice layer portion of our mix. Uh, recipe, I'm gonna put all down below. Um, that was just some glutinous rice flour, so nice and soft. Um, we have some cornstarch as well as some sugar. So someone, I saw a couple of recipes with cornstarch in it, and I think it's just to add a difference in mouthfeel. I personally did not feel like it tasted too different. I actually think the cornstarch um, makes it more chewy, so it kind of toughens up the, uh, the glutinous rice mix. So if you wanna try that, feel free. If not, I actually think you could just do the whole thing with glutinous rice um, as well.
20 minutes. I just wanted to make sure that the center was cooked. And actually it is, so. Alright. That should be fine. Okay, so what I did was I made this red bean paste ahead of time. I can link to that recipe, but uh, what I typically do is I just do red azuki beans water and then I put some dates in and I just boil it all down until it gets like really soft like this and then I add just like a small spoonful of uh, soy sauce but you can just do like a pinch of salt or no salt at all depending on what you want and the idea is this is going to be the filling to the rolls and so this sometimes this is a bit thick. I actually think this may be fine, but if it is too thick, you can always add like maybe like a tad of water to this. And then that'll thin it down so that you can spread it a bit more. really healthy filling to this and it's really really good as well and I just leave all of the beans whole so that you can have you know all of that like really nice fiber as well so yeah that should be that should be okay and then it should be a tad sweeter just because it is the filling and kind of the the outside um, rice layer isn't really that sweet. We added a little bit of sugar, but it's actually not really that sweet. So there's that. Okay, so I just got this mat rolled out. I have some of the kanako that we made. I'm just gonna pretty liberally do this could get sticky. between of letting it cool just a little bit so that you can work with it but then it can get hard quite quickly so I kind of get it into a square or a rectangular shape and yeah it is still quite warm said if I cut it if I cut it like this I said it would kind of mess up the how it looked on the inside see how it's like a bit it's like a bit cloudy like it's 
So they said I should cut it with like a piece of string. So we could try that. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna get a piece of floss. said ah it does it's I mean it's a cleaner it's a cleaner cut I tend to make my red bean paste quite, like not as sweet. And I think that for this, it it is nice to have it a little bit sweeter just because you, you do have all of the, the in-between rice layers. So you do have to, you have to test it out a little bit. I'd say it's, uh, it needs to be a bit sweeter. I wouldn't put it past me to just pour a little maple syrup over this maybe. Um, but it really depends on you Mm. Yeah, nice and soft. Which I did. 